this is Fee, day one of my vlog, and it is Tuesday the 25th of June. So my fortnightly vlog, I put out Saturday morning, which is the 22nd, although I think I did my last recording on the 21st. 20th or 21st, yeah. Um, so it's been four days since I uploaded um, my vlog. And I have been having quite an enjoyable time. I, as I put it, I've been lifing. <laughs> and it's really funny when we get there and go, oh, we've been lifing. Um, this is what life is. This is us looking absolutely horrid and thankfully it's not focusing on that. I'll put some videos up. Um, after this little quick vlog of um, what we did on Sunday night. We went to um, Optus Stadium and watched the State of Origin, New South Wales versus Queensland, which is rugby. Um, so I'll, I'll put that up so you can see a little bit about um, first time to Optus Stadium, first time to a rugby game. And first time actually watching a rugby game from start to finish. And I actually had a lot of fun. It was really good. Um, still don't like watching sport on TV. But I do like actually attending sporting events to get a... Um, to actually get the atmosphere. So yeah, that's where I'm at so far. In life... Um, so basically, I came off shift and this is... My first vlog but it is not my but I did actually I have done a little bit of work on uploading stuff I uploaded the um, waterfall halfway through um, so I've had I kitted that up 24th of May so I've had it for a month and knowing that for the, in the last month I have mm, hang on what have I done in the okay so in the last month um, I've worked on lioness and cub I kitted up the steampunk no I haven't kitted up the steampunk yet um, but yeah in a month I've done quite a few other bits and pieces I've finished off the DAC I finished off the ever moment panther um, and obviously I'm working on my lioness and cub I'm working on the lion family um, and paint by numbers so I can't say how long it has actually taken me to do it in specifics um, but yeah I've had it for a month so for those of you that were asking um, yeah, uh, halfway through, and it's taken me a month. Um, I think this one's. I think that one. One, that one. I've worked. I spent more time working on that one than any others. So, um, so how did we go? We had. I've had a bucket load of comments, and my apologies, people. I put the video together, added the sound, and then forgot to edit the ending of this of the music side of things so which is where you get the blank side of things um you know you could just sit there and diamond paint to some beautiful music just relaxing music um my apologies on the um blank space there all right i'm gonna leave that here i have um some kitty up kidding up to do um and just over a week and i fly to cairns um i'm on day shift so Wednesday Thursday day shift and then Friday Saturday Sunday night shift um, and Nathan is at work today he was at home he's been at home for the weekend yet again another reason why there's no recording happening <laughs> um, but he's at work and then he's got a work due tonight so I probably won't see him till 10 o'clock tonight so I have quiet in the house so I can get some recording done um, so yeah, I will see you in a second.
Okay, so today's date is Saturday, 29th of June. And um, what is it? I'm. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> night shift, first night shift. So two day shifts down, one night shift, two nights, and I've got two night shifts to go. And then I'm not at work for another three weeks after that, which is pretty good. Um, what have I done since? Uh, my last recording. Good question there too. Um, sorry. So the twenty fifth was my last recording, which is four days ago. So what have I done since then? I have. Completed the leopard, the custom leopard from um, my diamond painting, the one that I won. Um, I have uploaded the waterfall 50% or half done, so I've uploaded that. I haven't done any more work on that since then. Um, my lioness and cub, so that's I've done. Number six. Um, and I've done number seven, but number seven hasn't been, um, I'm not releasing that until a week, so just spacing it out. Um, so that'll come out when, while I'm away. Uh, so my whipping chats for South Africa, I have done, uh, Oh, I've got one more yet. I've got, so yes, I've completed it, but my last chat on it, I haven't edited and put together. So I'll get that uploaded in the next couple of days before I leave town. <laughs> um, I have kitted up Steampunk Red Lady. Uh, I've kitted up The Girl by Carousel. And I've kitted up Elsa. Um, I need to redo um, kit the steampunk because because I finished my um, leopard I can now um, use that storage which is I'm taking steampunk lady and I'm taking Elsa away with me to Cairns. Um, what else? Place another order with DIY Moon Shop and on Wednesday it got shipped Friday, it will be here Monday, so I, mean, I don't mind paying for postage when it comes to five days. And that five days is actually from ordering to arrival. Um, but in that I've got two small diamond paintings, so when I receive those I'll do, I'll do that an unboxing. Um, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of diamond painting on Girl by Carousel this morning before I go to bed. Um, but that's just, I'm not doing that on camera, I'm just going to work on it a little bit just to chill out. Um, <clears throat> I did something yesterday afternoon that I haven't done for a while. I actually drank triple shot ice break coffee 750 mils. Um, so I cracked that open late yesterday afternoon on the way to work. Um, so basically I was buzzing at work until I suppose about two o'clock this morning. I was, um, as I say, I was pinging. I had caffeine in me and it was uh, really affecting me. Uh, I'd actually brought three of those, so one for each of my night shifts. So um, tonight will be another interesting night. So yeah, um, yeah. But that's about it. Um, I'll probably do one more, one maybe two. I probably actually probably only one more recording 
um, for this vlog, this fortnightly vlog, um, because the recordings are all on my main computer, not on my tablet. So I'll do those and I'll get that uploaded and you can enjoy that one when, it, when, when you get to see this. Um, and I don't know whether I'll put my packing vlog in there or whether I'll do that separately. Let's see how that goes. Um, but I thought I might do that because I, I, I do two lots of packing. One is, um, well, obviously my clothes, but one is my suitcase with my big diamond paintings. And the other is for the plane. So I think I might, might be able to, I think I'll share that one as a separate vlog because, um, yeah, I diamond paint on the plane, but I only take small diamond paintings on the plane, <laughs> obviously, um, which is I bought from DIY Moon. I bought two, so one for the trip there and one for the one back. Um, because uh, yeah, my flight's actually, it's not a direct flight to Cairns. My flight is actually from Perth to Sydney, which is, I think it's a four and a half hour flight. Got two hours stopover in Sydney. And then it's about a one and a half hour flight from from Sydney to Kent. So um, that diamond, my, the diamond painting, one diamond painting will be done in that time. Okay, so uh, I will, I'll see you in a second. Said it enough times, I'm off to Cairns. And what I thought so is what I take with me. I have changed slightly with how I've gone previously because I now have the rocket tube which I got from DIY Moon. And yes, I have recently had a spending spree at DIY Moon which I don't think will stop anytime soon. But what I do have is I look at the initial cut side of things is I'm gonna fly, so what am I gonna do on the plane? Because I have, I don't sleep on planes or if I do, it's because I've taken something to make myself sleep. I've got four flights all up, but two flights there, two flights returned. So I've already prepped these guys up um, for the flight. As in, I have... So I've got the Electric Moon box from DIY Moon. What I have done is I have bagged up. I have a tray, I have a couple of trays, I have wax, my drills and diamond painting pen. Okay, so that is good to go. And that is the panda. So that box and that box, and actually that one, they will actually go into my handbag. I have a bag that's big enough where that one will be able to go in without any issue. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put that. I'll put that in my suitcase. I'm not going to be using it. I'll be doing that one. So that will go in my handbag. Flying by the seat of my pants here. Okay. So that one will go in my handbag. All good to go. One kit. I don't even need my light pad. So that's one side. Now what you're seeing is this is actually my, um, I'm in the guest room. <clears throat> and this is my guest bed that doesn't get used at the moment I have no visitors so what I will be taking with me and I will say I love these bags these are from DIY Moon what I do take is a few extra trays I do need to use the tray with the spout um, so I put my trays in trays in this one and my spare wax. What I also have is small bulldog clips. <coughs> Are they all used for, I hold back stuff, oh, whoops, uh, and clip onto the light pad if I need to. So those two, those go into that, that I put into that one. Normally I have a big pencil case, but, um, just trying to cut down on what I travel with. So I have that. Then inside one of these bags, I will put my sharp stuff, which 
actually is my scissors, a pair of tweezers and an exacto knife. And by keeping all the sharps together in one, I know that I have all my sharps in one spot um, and it's only one spot that I need to worry about that's going to stab me. Then it's just a case of spare diamond pens. Now I do have my new diamond pen. Okay, but I do have spares. I also have them with three placer. So I've got multi placers there as well. Okay, and the next thing I actually take and I will take it on my plane, on the plane, is my magnifying glass that has lights. That goes on the plane. So that <coughs> is those. That is just in case I actually um, do need to use, but most cases I don't need that on those ones. So I've got drill pens, and a little tiny spoon, I have my sharps, I have my trays. Next thing I've got to look at is my drills. I did kit up the Steampunk in um, the Elizabeth Ward storage container. I wasn't happy with that. And between kitting that up and now, I did complete a diamond painting. So what I do have is I've now put it in here. And redid the labels. I've got lovely big labels, nice and easy to read. So that's the one, that's the steampunk. With the inventory sheet in there and all kitted up. That one's ready to go with the drills. I have the drills for this one, for my heart one. Now, those drills, because they're in a bag, Believe it or not, I will add them to this one. So this is cased up and set up. This is ready for um, Elsa. And I am putting that in there. And I will put those in there as well. What that means is I have nothing floating around loose at all. And I'll zip that up. So with the only thing that I need to, that I don't have here showing is my little A4 light pad, the power cord and a power bank. I have a power bank that can charge four iPhones or charge up, do four charges for an iPhone. I use that while I'm away. Even when I'm at my dad's place or where I'm visiting, I will charge up and I will connect to the power pack. Um, that way I don't, I'm not stuck to a location and in that way, at the end of the night, when I go to bed, I put it on the charger, and by the morning, it's got a full charge there. So I now have, all my drills are in one, well, are in two containers. <coughs> and now the next bit is, oops, I did forget my little straightener thing, I do like that. Uh, that will go inside that, inside my tray with the rest of it. So, what am I taking with me? Let's see that. Hang on, we'll lift it that way. So I'm taking steampunk lady, red lady. And obviously I'm taking Elsa, which I don't need to lift up to show you the thumbnail. With these, they are going in the tube. Now, what I got with the rocket tube is extendable, so it goes out to 90 centimeters. So this is going to fit easily. So what I will do is I have a phone call and I will roll it out. So just bear with me. So I do put a phone call in the center of it. Okay. 
when I come home for what I have completed so when I because I will have worked on this when I actually roll it it will be rolled the other direction but yep <laughs> I need to roll tighter I'll put that in last no I need to roll tighter So one of these has the opaque cover, one has the clear cover. Um, they're both treated exactly the same way. I will roll them outwards on the outside. Okay, bear with me while I pump this in. Okay. I don't think I need to put the foam roller on the inside of that. So what I've got, you can see the two canvases. What I now need to do is just push that down and lock that into place. Okay, I'll just lengthen this strap. Yep, another diamond painting underneath those diamond paintings. <laughs> Rightio. I've lengthened the strap out and I now put that on and lock that up and tighten the strap. So that also helps that helps keep it all in one size. So there's my two diamond paintings in there. And I've just loosened that. This is actually going to hold, stop it from um, coming, the lid coming off. But I'm okay with the way that is. And guess what I didn't do? Okie dokie. I forgot to put one in, which is really special of me. Open that up. Guess what I forgot to put in? <laughs> Purple love, but that's okay because this one is being small. I can roll it just by itself, and that'll slot inside. Nice and easy. Do it up again. So, apart from my light pad. That's all I need to pack in my suitcase. That goes in my handbag and that will go in my suitcase. And I'll pop that in there. So when you have the right gear, it's quite easy to travel. My suitcase, that will go along diagonal on my suitcase. And that will go, you know, act like that's my suitcase. That'll go diagonal. And I think the way my suitcase lays, that will go like that. If not, I'll put clothes on one end and I will joss it around to get it right. But that will fit inside my suitcase like that. So that's how easy it is to pack and protect and keep everything together without having to scatter stuff through your suitcase. Um, you can, obviously, if you're using baggies, baggies are quite make things easier as well when traveling, especially if you don't keep your drills. You can, at the end of it, end of your thing, you've got your diamond painting. Um, but no and no drills to come home with but yeah hopefully that little bit of a pack I will give you I will put some pictures um, of this in my suitcase so you can see what that looks like um, before I put all my personal stuff in so I will 
put this in the suitcase shortly and I will show you that. Okay, Oop. we are now, this is actually on my bed. And if the camera happens to bop jostle around, it's because my lovely little papa, my little puppy dog wants to get on. So the tube does fit across in my suitcase. So it's actually a really good size. My life for light pad goes down on the bottom. I have my big massive power pack. Now that, because it's a battery, has to go on in my um, um, in my carry-on luggage. I have three cords. Why do I have three cords? Because these, where's the, there it is, sorry. What I have is, if I can plug it in. So on this side, that's the cord that clip connects in. What I have here is two extender, USB extender cords. If I need to, I have room to put my power pack out of the way. When I have, uh, I know at my dad's place, I don't have a big, very, very big workspace. So my power pack will go on the ground. This will plug into the light pad and it's just another thing that I don't have on the bench or on the desk where I with little room. My power cables, although I don't use just for diamond painting. So these actually go into I have little pouches in my other suitcase in my suitcase that I've got zip bags. So my power sales goes in there. So Simply put, what we have is that one in there. And can I get this? There we go. And there we go. So now I've got both cases in here. The angle of these in here is actually perfect for shoes. And bear with me from there. I can get you back there. So, and on that side of things, this is actually a zip up section. I could put this on a section that doesn't zip up, but I learnt my lesson. I had a plastic container, you know, the other screw lid ones of diamond paintings and drills. I went away once and the lid actually unscrewed. So, I had drills right throughout my suitcase. However, because it was in this section that was zipped up, it was only half through my suitcase, not all the way through. And when I opened up my suitcase, none came out. So that is yet again another little tip. If you're traveling with drills, make sure that they are in a section where if they do happen to open up, they're not gonna scatter throughout your whole suitcase. Um, just makes a makes a bit of a difference so yeah that's that's how easy and simple it can be to pack diamond paintings if you have something that can store properly and obviously I do have a reasonable size suitcase so hopefully you like that um, and I'll just add this into my little bit of a packing vlog uh, not my packing vlog I might add this into my fortnightly vlog so I will catch you later and see you shortly. Today's date is Tuesday, 2nd of July. Um, tomorrow, oops, I forgot to grab something. Hang on. Got it. Oops, and you can actually see it. Maybe not. Put it that way, there we go. So. 2nd of July. Tomorrow I fly to Cairns, which means it is, this is going to be the last um, vlog that I do. This is the last recording for this fortnight. So, a little bit early, about a five, four or five days early. Um, and I probably haven't done as much as I actually have done. So, touching on what I have done since my last vlog, holy cow, I have done some stuff. 
So I did publish um, my waterfall short link canvas where I'm 50% through. I'm not going to show that here because um, just the way things are at the moment. I've actually got to put it away because I'm going away so I'm just moving things around. So I've done that. What else have I done? I have actually you, I've kitted up the steampunk red lady. I have also kitted up um, Elsa and Girl by Carousel, which um, I unboxed those last fortnight. Um, so I've kitted up those three. You can only currently see at this stage the steampunk that I have kitted up. So there we go there. Um, I have also done, I did a purchase, <laughs> I did a purchase last Wednesday which arrived Monday, five days, um, from DIY Moon and I've done the unboxing of that, uh, I've done a couple of kitting ups, well, I've kitted up the painting, the two diamond paintings which I'm going to take to fire with me. But I've kitted them up so that you can see how I kit them up to travel. I have also, with those diamond paintings, I have also um, used the hair dryer on them to straighten them out and get them really nice. Um, I thought that was a perfect opportunity to show it because they were small. Perfect opportunity for that. Okay, so what else? I finished um, the leopard. My whip and chat South Africa is now complete and I'm going to release this video on Friday. So my final whip and chat for South Africa will actually be up. You will see it. So it's being uploaded right now as we speak. Um, I also did a live stream. So in that live stream, I reached my 500 subscribers. I'm actually 504 today, or as of right now, because I've been watching it go up and down just by one or two and going, oh, nearly there, nearly there. Um, I did reach the magical 500 while I was actually in the live, which was fantastic. Um, so I was going to organize for Customs to be done via Ever Moment. I actually might be organising those custom, that customs that I need to do via um, someone else who was actually by Viv, who was actually in my live today, and I actually did show, give her link a couple of times to her Facebook page or the Facebook, whatever. It, yeah, it is a Facebook page, I think it is. Okay, so that's that side of things. I've also done something special, which is you can actually see here under this box, but. Um, I'll leave that go for a second because I actually got mail um, and it has come from um, <laughs> I can't I can't actually Texas I think that is TX is Texas um, this would be Melissa McCartney I would say um, she is the only person I have given my um, address to that is overseas. So um, I think this is from when I did the DP a thon. Here we go. So there's a little thanks. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, So, um, yes, it was from Marissa going, thank you so much for joining us for the DP, for the Athon. I've joined, I've enjoyed catching up with your videos and your live. I do hope that you're able to join us again, Marissa. So, there's a DP Athon um, when it shows in, and I want to do it again. It was so much fun. So much fun. So, I do want to go and do that again. 
buddy, please, like, find somewhere to sit. Sit still. That's why you're a skinny dog, because you don't sit still. Okay. Oh, you might have actually seen him walk up that way. Okay. Did you see him? <laughs> okay. So, thank you, Melissa. And I got a couple of stickers. Um, I have to chuckle on these two sayings. Because in Australia, one of those is rude and the other one is actually not a really nice thing to say to somebody. Um, so that one's rude and that one is actually not something nice you say to somebody. Uh, and I do watch it being said on YouTube channels and it's like, okay, yep. It's, it's not what we ref how we interpret that. Um, so that is going to go nicely. If I actually put that sticker on the back of my car, both of those on the back of my car windscreens, it's going to be really funny. So I don't know where I'll put them. Um, I might actually put them on my little pink mat. But they are um, quite interesting sayings in Australia. Um, Melissa, I might actually send you an email to explain what these mean in Australia. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. More stickers. Okay, so what have I achieved that I can show? Oh, rearrange that one. There we go. Paint by numbers. I am getting there. So this one is all just time lapse. And until it's complete, you won't see it. But that's the time lapse. That is the paint by numbers so far of the one I'm doing. Boots. It's quarter to three. You're too early. It's not four o'clock. Way too early. My cat has forgotten what the time is. Okay, so yeah, that's what I've done so far. Um, I'm loving the look of that. Um, I am actually taking a paint by numbers with me away. So there will be another one, but that won't be recorded. There's no... There won't be any recording of any diamond painting or craft stuff while I'm away so I'm going to be gone for more than two weeks so any recordings that come through while I'm away uh, will have been already recorded up to this point unless of course it actually is of Cairns and the surrounding area okay so pop that one on the floor no it won't because Bo's going to walk on it if I put it there the next one, I keep trying to hide this one thing. The next one is my leopard. I finally got there. Oh, my hair stuck to the side. So I finally got him done. Now let's see. Oh, no, I can't do that. So how cool does he... Oh, gosh, sorry. I'm just trying to get my camera right. That's better. So that is now ready to be framed. Shouldn't have any issue framing him. He's just going to need a dark frame. And that was through my diamond painting. So that's the custom I won based on a custom that I've done previously. Okay. The next one, I oh, will pop it down there. He won't step on that now. Is the lion family. Whoops, did you see that? Okay. Is the lion family. I've just got this one little section to do. Um, so yeah, that's just that one section left to do. So this one's looking quite nice. Hang on. Can I? That's better. So his, that family is looking really cool. Okay, so from there I will have to get up. For the... Now he's facing the cat. It's really funny, you can now see how big this is when it comes to... Um, so... Hang on. 
Let's move my buff head out, out of the way for a second. There we go. So that is the blank custom that I'm working on. Ooh, and I've got it all in one frame. So you can actually see the branch up here, the ear. So I've completed these two sections um, here. And it's this bit that I haven't yet released on video. But that's coming. So. Yes, I'm just dumping stuff on the ground behind me. Um, and although I can't show you the other one, actually, I've shown it in the unboxing. Um, I've got this guy out for a reason. So, there we go. So this guy is out for a reason. Let's zoom in. The uh, I've got another small one, which I got from DIY Moon. That is already packed away, and you would have seen that in the packing vlog. Um, but in part of the packing vlog, um, in some of the setting up, but yeah. But what I thought I'd show is this is something else I have completed. So this is actually from DIY Moon. It's got the electric diamonds on it and there is actually two different coloured electric diamonds. So you can actually see there is a difference, a slight difference in colour. This is kitted up, apart from the fact that my pen's not in it. This is kitted up to take to Ken's to put in my pan bag, but I have put my sticky labels in the box so that one is all good to go but it was more the fact that I had completed this um, and it is a really nice size box because I can fit where is it I had it before the diamond that's why because that was in the way I can fit my diamond painting pen <laughs> and my trays and my drills. Normally the trays go the other direction. Take that out. But I can fit trays, drills in there and it can just slip into my handbag. When I'm diamond painting on the plane, I'll have this on the tray and then I'll actually have this like this and I'll be able to diamond paint away without losing anything. Um, and actually, I suppose my, how do I put it, the, this size is approximately, here we go, this size is about the size of your trays on an airplane, so they're about that big. So I will have room for both of these on my um, tray and be able to diamond paint while I'm um, at it. Um, so, that is, I think that's it. Um, my suitcase is packed, with the exception of the toiletries. My carry-on luggage is not packed, but that's because that's a laptop and all sorts of stuff in there. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys will get to see some good footage in Cairns. And I'm going to leave that here with a very, very short ending. Um, but yeah, I will say thank you so much for to all subscribers that have gotten me to the 500 mark. Um, I was surprised when I actually got two subscribers. When I got 100, I was surprised. Um, 500 is, is pretty big, pretty big to me. Um, for something that I do for fun and... Um, making it as a hobby I will say that I had some starts I had some times there when doing the YouTube stopped feeling like a hobby um, but now it's, I've put it back to I've turned it back into a hobby again where um, I will do um, what I feel like doing without feeling like I'm obligated and I think that is what makes a difference with a YouTube channel where you chat and do stuff if you're obligated, it feels like it's meant to be a job. I have a full-time job. Um, granted, for the next 
Well, actually, for the month of July, it works out that I'm only going to be working two shifts. So in 31 days, I will work all up at 25 hours. So I'm going to have a great month this month. So, yeah, um, stay tuned for more updates. Um, and I will see you later on when I'm on the other side of this country. So I will talk to you later. And uh, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. We really appreciate it. Bye.